slow browsing is when your internet connection is way below the average internet speed you're supposed to get based on your data subscription or plan. Such problems can occur not just in computers but also in mobile devices due to several reasons. The quickest way to test your current internet speed is through online speed test platforms like speedtest.net. If the upload and download speeds are way too low compared to your actual internet plan, then that denotes an issue on slow internet. In this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPhone 13 starts having a very slow connection. First solution, force restart your iPhone. Network issues that occur after an update are often due to system glitches. The most logical thing that you have to do at this point is the forced restart. It's a simulated battery removal that refreshes your iPhone's memory, and reloads all its applications and services. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Your iPhone will continue the usual boot process. When the reboot is complete, try to see if the internet connection has improved. Second solution, reconnect to the network. Another possible method to fix slow browsing issues from an iOS update is to restart or refresh your iPhone's wireless internet functions. Basically, what you have to do is to toggle the Wi-Fi switch off, and then enable it back. It's one of the most effective ways to fix this problem, and here's how it's done. Launch Settings Tap Wi-Fi If it's disabled, try enabling it so you can connect to the internet through the service. If it's already enabled, disable it and then after a few seconds, enable it back. After this, try to see if your connection has improved. Third solution, reset all network settings on your iPhone. After making sure that the problem isn't with your network device, the next thing you have to do is refresh all network or wireless services on your iPhone. You can do so by resetting all network settings. Don't worry, none of your files will be deleted. Here's how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Tap General. Scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset at the bottom of the screen to reveal all the options. Tap Reset Network Settings and enter your security lock if prompted. Tap Reset Network Settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this, once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Fourth solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix network issues including this problem, but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase all content and settings at the bottom of the screen. Tap Continue and then enter your security code if prompted. Enter your Apple ID password and tap Turn off at the top right corner of the screen. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.